Since we've had all these new updates in Photoshop and Lightroom CC 2019, there's a lot of different things we can do with them and I had this kind of crazy idea and I tried it out and it actually works where we can do adjustable depth of field inside of Photoshop. Now this is not a supported feature or even really a feature that was added but I figured out a sneaky workaround, a kind of a hack, so check this out right now. <laughs> We're going to be using a photograph that I captured on an iPhone XS and this was using the Lightroom mobile camera and by doing that it creates a depth map. Now you have to have a camera sort of like a, you know, an iPhone XS or a Google Pixel 3 or something like that in order to do this but you know in the future all phones will support this. But you can do that adjustable depth of field inside of the, you know, the Apple app or whatever but you can't do it in Photoshop but I figured out a way where you can. So let's jump straight in. So here we are in Lightroom right now, and I've got a photograph here that I captured, you know, looking into the kitchen. And that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the develop module. And what I wanna do is just kind of bring this out. So we're just gonna grab the little brush here and just tap it, I'm gonna make it small, because all we're trying to do is just activate the feature. So I'll just make it real small and just tap in the corner. And now we can go under the features here. And what we're looking for is range mask. If you go down to depth, and then we show the depth map. Now here's the thing that's interesting about this is if I take this into Photoshop, this depth map will not show. And I'll demonstrate that in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a screen capture. If you're on the Mac, by the way, Shift Command 4 will enable us to do a screen capture. So I'm just going to click and drag to create that screen capture. Wow, that sounded really good. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is um, I'm just going to reset this. So we don't need that anymore. And we're going to right click and we're going to choose to edit in Photoshop CC 2019. Here we are inside of Photoshop. Let me just uh, command zero, make that fit. And if we go into the channels here, you'll notice under the channels that depth map does not come through. So we can't access this in Photoshop, but check this out. If we choose to file place embedded, I'm just gonna grab the screenshot here and then choose to place. Now what I'm gonna do is just take it from the corner and I'm just gonna drag it out to fit. Now all we want to do is we're just going to hit control A to select all and control C to copy. So what I've basically done is I've just copied everything on here. Now we can hide this. We don't need it anymore. So we're going to choose our background. Now we're going to go under channels. We're going to create a new channel and then just control or command V to paste. And now what we've done is we've pasted in our depth map. So when you look at this map, everything that is light is closer to the camera. Everything that is black is further away from the camera. Now, of course, we can flip that behavior. Check this out. This is where it gets really good. So grab RGB and make sure that the alpha channel is not selected. Then under the layer, what we're going to do is we're going to choose to go to filter and we're going to go to blur and lens blur. Now, here's the thing about the lens blur. This simulates an actual lens blur. So we can adjust, you know, how blurry we want it. We can adjust what, you know, how the aperture blades work, the rotation, all this kind of stuff. Um, we can even choose the shape of the aperture. But here's where it gets really exciting. When we go under source, if we go now and choose alpha one, notice that right now our background is sharp and now we've changed our depth of field where our foreground is now blurry. But it, notice it's not just blurry and sharp. Let me really increase the radius so you can see this. Because of this depth map, it's not just sharp and blurry. You'll notice that certain things like that windowsill is actually taking on that three-dimensional uh, texture and it's creating a realistic blur. So we've got fully blurry, fully sharp, and then semi-blurry and semi-sharp fading off just like it would on a real lens. Okay, wait, I've got one more thing I'm going to show you. So if we change the focal distance, right now it's set to far away. If we move this forward, look at this, it's like we're refocusing the camera. And now we can focus the camera nice and close. Notice now that the bottle is sharp, the background's blurred, and this is semi-blurred. 
Of course, in this case, you know, the blur is probably a little much. We can play around with it and set it exactly how we want. And there we go. We're able to take that depth map from that camera and use it inside of Photoshop. Now, I've got a lot more other things I'm experimenting with, and I'll show you. I promised I would show you this because when I did my last tutorial um, talking about this in Lightroom, I said I had some things I was figuring out with Photoshop. This is one of the little hacks I came up with, and I've got more coming. So stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss these exciting videos. And by the way, if you like this, smash that like button into dust. So I have questions for you guys. Are you using Mac or Windows? And also, what kind of phone do you use? Do you even use a phone for photography? If, if you do, let me know what kind of phone it is. Drop it in the comments underneath. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching this little tip. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.